Boris FX has officially rolled out Sapphire 2026, the latest update to its renowned VFX plugin suite. In fact, Sapphire 2026 introduced several fresh goodies, an authentic film burn effect and matching transition, a cutting-edge AI-driven whip transition, in addition to new lens flares and grungy textures that you can play around with, but let's take a look and see the details. At the heart of this update is the new S-Film Burn effect, also usable as a transition. This tool essentially bottles up the warm, messy magic of overexposed celluloid and pours it into the digital footage. It is built using high-resolution scans of real film stock, so the light leaks, glowing bursts, and color bleeds it produces looks just like genuine analog film burns. You will get granular control over all those perfectly imperfect details like lens flares, natural film grains, even quirky artifacts, like sprocket hole burns and ghostly frame edges. In other words, you can dial in anything from subtle vignette glow to full-on projector aid my film real chaos. Another addition is Mocha Whip, which is an ingenious new transition that throws a bit of AI wizardry into the mix. It is actually Boris's effects first ever AI powered transition, and it actually lives up to the hype. Essentially, it takes your main subject in one clip, automatically cuts it out, and tracks it, and then whips out that subject into the next scene in one smooth motion. Sapphire's lens flare and textures toolkit also got some love in 2026 update. The ever-popular lens flare effect gains a brand new Pro Lens Flare Pack, eight gorgeously crafted flares inspired by real cinematic lenses. From bold anamorphic streaks to subtle warm blooms, each flare piece set was handmade by professional VFX artists, so they are not your generic stock glares. They have an authentic Hollywood feel, which is great for giving your footage that big-budget movie look with minimal effort. Meanwhile, the grunge effect has been supercharged, with 80 new high-resolution grunge stamps sourced from real-world textures. You will find everything from oil paint strokes and chalk smudges to ink splatters and sponge marks in this collection. There are also improvements to Sunfire's Effects Builder, the node-based environment for creating custom effects and transitions. In 2026, the builder gets a significant workflow boost with visual parameter linking. This feature lets you link controls together and then simply hover over nodes to instantly preview those driver-driven relationships in real time. In other words, you can now easily see which parameter is controlling which, making complex multi-layer effect setups much more intuitive to manage. And I think this is a quality of life update that you will appreciate, which means no more guesswork on fine-tuning intricate effect chains. Boris FX also bundled 11 new curated effect builder presets to spark inspiration. These presets showcase pretty wild, layered looks that are possible in Builder, giving you a starting point and examples that you can learn from. And there you have it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more news like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.